hi welcome back to my channel well if you are interested to dive into the world of neural networks in contact with data science and you are interested to perform the regression analysis or regression based analysis task when i say regression analysis based task that means the target variable is continuous that means your data set is quite complex it involves a large number of features or a large number of input variables and you are trying to regress them or fit them on a continuous target variable then this video is going to be quite interesting it will be definitely helpful to all those people who want to fit a neural network which involves a large number of variables and it which involves a continuous target variable although i have already made a video on neural network uh, regarding the fitting and prediction of volume but that involves only two explanatory uh, variables or i can say the features that is diameter and height but uh, this video is going to be different in a sense that we are going to explore a very important library which we have developed that is known as library uh, i am neuron it is quite innovative in a sense that it creates powerful uh, neural network models uh, specifically tailored to perform the regression based task that means the target variable is continuous now typically when we fit uh, a neural network model what the first requirement is that is we have to require uh, we have to recall some libraries like uh, which are already written here like neural network tidyverse caret matrices uh, because uh, we need to fit a neural network we want the results uh, of uh, neural network in terms of selection criteria then accordingly which we will have to choose we have to specify the threshold level because it is a quite iterative process and at the same time we have to specify uh, whether we are using a feed forward model or although we prefer back propagation uh, so a lot of things need to be considered and the first important thing is that the scaling or we can say the data normalization that is quite that is quite important we need to do uh, because this data normalization or data scaling is very important uh, otherwise if we will not uh, normalize or we will not do the data standardization or the scaling then it will have definitely have a drastic effect on our predictions then once we uh, do the data standardization then we have to apply the cross validation we might use the uh, default or the traditional uh, data splitting method of 70 30 or 80 20 but we used to prefer five-folded or ten-folded cross validation then again we have to fit the model separately then use different codes and different functions for uh, getting the results in terms of selection criteria be it coefficient determination or be it the error rates like root mean square error mean absolute error prediction error rates so so many things are involved in this uh, so uh, it is a quite um, not hectic in a way I can say uh, it is a quite lengthy procedure but for that we have a solution uh, we can use this library that we have developed that is I am neuron you can see the description of this library uh, so it is used for fitting AI based neural network especially when the target variable is continuous and we are having a large number of features or input variables and you can see the arguments are here this is the name of the data set and the target variable then uh, this is the range of the values specifying the number of hidden neurons to explore in the neural networks two layers so only two layers are used then we can choose the different levels of or the different combination of the neurons within the hidden layer then cross validation normally when we are fitting uh, this neural network uh, we are using the traditional uh, cross validation method but what we have done here we have uh, focused on five folded and ten folded cross validation which is uh, preferred when we have a choice between the traditional 70 30 and 80 20 versus five folded and ten folded cross validation then uh, in terms of selection criteria we have a values of uh, coefficient of determination and obviously for root mean square error and as well uh, as well as for prediction error rate across uh, the folds whether we are using five folded or ten folded then train neural network for each model uh, of three fold a data frame containing the evaluation of matrix for each fold so for that what we need to do we simply need a data set since whosoever is using r they know how to import the data set 
in this library by default we have a data set and this is the same data set which i have used in one of my videos this is data fruit if i will write like in this way view that is fruit okay this is the data set and you can see uh, we have fruit length fruit breadth size weight fruit volume fruit set and this is our target variable this is continuous uh, so uh, the idea is quite clear that we are fitting a, a neural network model and the problem here is regression so <clears throat> the traditional way of fitting if we are using this data set and uh, we'll try to fit it out the traditional way is to use a lot of libraries then do the data scaling or normalization either minimum maximum score or z scoring then apply the cross validation either 80 20 70 30 then apply the model on the training set specify the hidden number of la hidden layers uh, and uh, specify whether your input variables are ha are assumed to be have a linear or non-linear relationship and specify the threshold value since it is an it2 process then uh, use these codes to get the values of the selection criteria then we can appro accordingly choose a model uh, a model whose accuracy is good in a way having a high value of r square and low values of these error rates so it involves a lot of uh, time and it involves a lot of effort for that we have a solution the one uh, solution for that we will simply use uh, this data set this data fruit and simply what we will use we will only use this function now we'll click on this run and automatically within fraction of seconds we'll be having the results okay at the same time we are having the nn plots also and you can see it shows the time as well as the threshold it involves how many repetitions it is involved how many steps and in every repetition and step we have a value for the error uh, so you can see what I have done. I have only used this thing. The first argument that is I am neuron. It is by default there. Here you have to use the name of the data set, the name of the target variable, then specify the range of hidden uh, neurons. Since I am using two hidden layers, this this is the input layer. These two are hidden layer, and in each hidden layer, I am using two neurons. You can see and uh, this is uh, my response variable or target variable and cv cross validation which i am using is five folded now if i will only write this this five fold it will give me an output which is quite interesting in a way it will give me the results of the result matrix in the form of error uh, uh what how many steps it has involved what are the different weights which are associated with each input variable then uh, these blue lines these are nothing these are the biases which are quite important uh, because this neural network it, it uses an algorithm uh, which in my opinion is nothing it's a program or a code uh, which especially the people who are engaged with the data science or the researchers they use to uh, study analyze or I can say and explore a large complex data set now this blue line this is quite interesting this is bias and every input has a weight associated in it and it, it automatically use the back back propagation method or we can say it also again uses an activation function which in case works in like a way that if the weight of these input variables if the associated weight or we can say the weighted sum of all these input variables exceeds a certain threshold uh, then it will proceed then uh, it will definitely proceed towards on this side now this activation function i can say it is the heart or the essence of this neural network or it we can say it plays a significant role in optimizing the prediction accuracy so uh, within uh, one uh, function we can get the results uh, of these neural networks uh, we don't need to write all these things again i will use this function so first what we need to do we need to 
we do we need to just import the data although i have already have a data which is available in this package then after that what we have to do oh i have to use this function that is i am neuron this is by default there then after that the name of the data set the name of your target variable now this is our choice what we have to do so if i will customize it like this to comma one let's see what will happen now two comma one it will create a lot of combinations here now you can see in first hidden layer we have two neurons in second hidden layer we have one neuron then again in first hidden layer we have one neuron and in second hidden layer we have two neurons a lot of combinations that you can see here how many things we have in one click you can see we have uh, two hidden layers in the first uh, two neurons in the first hidden layer we have uh, one neuron in the second hidden layer because what we have done we have given the argument two comma one here then again if i will only use this will be having a result of uh, this uh, uh, selection criteria for each and every fold where we can measure the accuracy of our model and you can see we have the results in terms of matrix for these plots like this one okay so, so it involves a lot of combinations it involves so within one click of course we can use this ten folded cross validation also so whatever the data set you have whether it's large or it involves a large number of uh, input variables or neurons you can uh, use this I am neuron package uh, which is freely available on CRAN uh, recently uploaded on CRAN so this uh, video will be quite uh, helpful for those people who are dealing uh, with a um, data set where the target variable is continuous hope you will like this video thank you very